Good morning, everyone. This is Tuesday, August the 23rd. I'm Brandi Cummings. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A man is recovering this morning after Fairfield police shot him. They say they got a call about someone possibly loitering and they identified that person as Robert Wilson. They said Wilson has been arrested multiple times before. There was a warrant out for him because he failed to appear in court for a domestic violence case. Also, we now know the identities of the people killed in a head on crash on I-5 near Maxwell. Officers say 24 year old Celeste Gonzalez of Maxwell was driving the wrong way. Gonzalez was killed along with three people in the other car. 57 year old Timothy McDaniels of Vacaville, 28 year old Quincy Lovelace of Sassoon City, 34 year old Christopher Martinez of Sassoon City. Also, the Sacramento Fire Department saved a man whose car crashed into the river upside down. Check out this picture here. The fire department says the man drove off a cliff landing upside down in the Sacramento River. Thankfully, the water wasn't that deep where he landed, but you can see the drop off wasn't much further. For our check of today's forecast, let's head over now to meteorologist Melanie Hunter. Good morning. We are waking up to a warmer start. You can see the mild conditions where we're running a few degrees warmer up and down the valley. So a lot of us are stepping out in the 60s and 70s. You'll likely leave that light extra layer at home. Clear start and it's going to turn into a clear afternoon. So plenty of sunshine will help with our warming and our temperatures are going back above average today. So by 9 o'clock near 70, upper 80s, close to 90 by noon. This afternoon highs should max out in the upper 90s, close to 100 in downtown Sacramento, and this evening should stay pretty mild. Brandy. All right, Melanie, thanks so much. Well, that's a look at what we're following here on KCRA 3 today.